All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises due to the Most High. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, and Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutation to the elect. I just did Brother Parathom back in there with another lesson. Well, today, I'm just going to do a quick lesson, super quick, you know, Lord willing, on just, you know, uh, uh, moving in this, in, 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 you know, in, the, in this world, man. You know, you know, brothers be having like, you know, uh, various uh, financial difficulties and, you know, things of this sort. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we, we bring it upon ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, guess what, man? We got to move, you know, uh, uh, more discipline, you know, for lack of a better word, in, in, in our day-to-day -day life, you know what I mean? We can't just be uh, uh, running around, you know, sleeping all day and and, and giving into worldly pleasures and then complain that, that, that you broke, man. All right, and I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, you know? You know, we 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 trying to be, you know, part of the elected, the, the the chosen men. All right, the best men on, on you know on the planet. All right, we trying to be part of the Lord's elect, and we want to be, you know, excellent in all facets of life, man. We want to be we we, we, we want to be, you know, uh, 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 like a uh, all rounder, man. We want to be good in you know in everything, man. All right, we gotta put our best foot forward when it comes to everything, man. All right, and a lot of times, you know, brothers be messed up and, and it be self-inflicted. You know, sometimes, you know, I'm guilty of that. All right, so I'm just gonna go, just a couple uh, precepts, and you know, we are gonna call that a lesson, you know, law willing. All right, so this is Proverbs chapter 21, and we got this got this scripture from the brother Yohanathan. He put it in the chat. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 17. And it says, he that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. And that's what it is, man. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. You can't just give in, you know, into your into your lust, man, into your, into your various pleasures, man. All right? If you don't have it, you don't have it, man. All right? Not as soon as you get a couple dollars in your pocket, you go out, you buy, you know, bottles of wine and, and, and you know, you know, eating, you know, extravagant meals or, you know, you know what I mean? All right. This is not really the time or the place for that, man. All right. We have to show some level of of, of, of discipline in the way that we move. All right. All right. You have to show some measure of discipline in, in, in the way that we move and we can't just give in to our pleasures, man. You know, we know it's a continual fight and we in the flesh. And, you know, sometimes we, you know, you want that relief, man. You want that relief. You want a little, you know, a little ounce, a little inkling of, of, of some type of your pleasure, man. But you know what? You know, we have to become more disciplined, you know, in this truth, in this in, in this walk, man. All right. So we got to, you know, you you, you got you to gotta put off the pleasures of this world. All right. A lot of times. All right. So it says, he that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. All right, so you know what I mean. As soon as you get a couple of dollars, you're gonna you're gonna spend it on uh, on some bullshit. All right, the money it come and it go, and then what, man? You 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 asked out, man. All right, you know you know the scriptures say you know we know how to be a bond and we know how to be a base, man. So you don't want to take it too far every time you up, man. All right, because you know the Lord, He's the one that decides these matters. Of you know, it's easy for for, for the Lord to make a poor man uh, rich and a rich man poor, man. All right, so it says, "He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man; he that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich." And it says, "He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich, man." So you can't, you know, uh, 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 you know. We understand, you know, the scriptures say what? Give strong drink unto a man for, for a man that's ready to perish. But you know what I mean? It has to be balanced. All right? It has to be balanced. You know? We gotta, you know, we gotta, we, 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 we gotta move like the wise men that, you know, that, that we are, man. All right? You might wanna save some money for a rainy day. You know what I'm saying? You might get some bread, you know, spend it on some silver or something so you could save up for a rainy day. Don't just blow your money as soon as you get it, man. All right, so it says, he that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. You like oil, you like a wine and, you know, various luxuries, you know, because, I, you know, we, I, we, we, we get it, man. Brothers want to feel that feeling. All right, we want to feel that feeling. Although we, 
you know, in hell, man. Although we we we, we in captivity, but guess what, man? We have to forsake all of that in, in you know in this world in this walk, man. We gotta forsake all of it. All right, we're gonna get all these things in the kingdom, but in the meantime, hey, man, we gotta carry yourself with a certain level of discipline. All right, you know, you can't always be you know asking. Uh, uh, you know, brothers uptight, you know what I mean? You can't you can't always be doing that, you know, every, every single time. Yes, sometimes that happened, but you don't want to make these things a habit, man. All right? You can't just say, well, 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 well you know, it's Satan and da-da-da-da. Listen, man, sometimes it's, you got to look at yourself. You know, you got to analyze. You, you, you got to look at yourself, you know what I mean? Because we know what it is in this walk, man. All right, the scriptures speak about whenever you get money, it's like a, a bag full of holes, man. So knowing this, you're supposed to be able to, you know, maneuver or maneuver a certain type of way, all right, when you're up, man. Okay, you can't always depend on the brotherhood, you know, to bail you out of situations, man. Especially a lot of times they're self-inflicted. They're self-inflicted, man. All right? I'm going to just get one more precept. It ain't going to be long. All right, this is... uh. This is, uh, let me see, this is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 4. All right, and this is, a, this is another thing, all right, you know, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 4, it says, Give not sleep to thy eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. All right, man, so don't, don't be, don't be uh, uh, sleeping all the time, man. All right, you can't be waking up 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the day's already over, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, two o'clock. You know what I mean? Hey man, and that's not how you want to move, man. All right, that's not how you want to move. All right, you gotta get up and, and and be productive with your day, man. Regardless if you have a job or not. All right, you know. Personally, for me, hey man, by by nine o'clock, you know what I mean? I, I'm I'm up and moving around. You know what I'm saying? I can't really sleep for 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 two long of a period man you know what i mean unless i got a little day off or something you know what i mean but in general that's not a thing like i can't do that you know what i'm saying you know they say the thing of the, the early bird get the early, early worm man so the brother's got to be up and about man all right you can't just be sleeping all day man you, you, you talk to somebody oh it's one o'clock in the afternoon two o'clock in the afternoon you, you just getting up you just getting started with your day man nah man get up all right have a little routine going on man all right have a little have a little you know routine going on even even if you don't got it right even if you're not really working still get up man just get in the habit man you know do some push-ups some sit-ups you know the apostles they be pushing uh, 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 uh being healthy these days you know what i'm saying see what i'm saying i gotta get better at that myself all right you know you, you gotta you, you gotta be up and about man all right so it says give not sleep to thy eyes, nor slumber to thy eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. All right? So, hey, guess what, man? You know, when you up and about, hey, man, you saving yourself, man. You looking out for yourself, man. All right? You know, it says, deliver thyself as a rule from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowl. So when you up and about, guess what? You're delivering yourself from, and it's going to say that a little further down, from poverty, man, from 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 from, from, from being broke. Okay? You got to help yourself, man. You can't be in this woe is me spirit, which, you know, we all get in it, into it. Sometimes you feel a lower state, but you got you, you to gotta get up and get up and go, man. All right? It says, go to the ank, thou sluggard, Consider her ways and be wise. And that's what it is, man. Go to the ant. Thou sluggard. Consider the ways of the ant and be wise. And you know the ant, they 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 they, they are a, a, a working bunch, man. Alright, they are a working bunch. I think it there was like a little uh how you say it, fable or something about the ant and the grasshopper, something to that effect, man. And the ant he was working throughout the summer so in the winter he'll be good and the grasshopper he he didn't work and in the, in the winter time he died man I, I believe that's how it go all right so you gotta look, look at the ways of the ant man the lord he created you know all these these animals we yeah we could learn from it man the ant and the ant very industrial uh industrious animals 
All right? So it says, go to the ant. Thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. So we learn from we learn from that, all right? Which have no guide, overseer, or ruler. So you're supposed to be really doing this on your own accord. All right? Ain't nobody supposed to be over you telling you, well, hey, man, you got to get up and you got to make moves. And ain't nobody supposed to be telling you that, man. Hey, you a grown-ass man, dog. <laughs> you know I'm saying? We grown men over here, man. Ain't nobody supposed to be telling you any of these things, man. You're supposed to learn these things. You're supposed to know these things, you know, especially over time. Okay? It says, which have no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer and gathered her food in the harvest. So guess what, man? All right? They said they labor. Right? So guess what, man? They labor hard in the summer. You got to labor hard. So at a certain point, when you're not up, when shit is slow, all right, you, you'll be all right. You, you, you'll be decent, man. All right, you got to put something away for a rainy day. Don't just spend all your bread. Don't just spend all your money. All right, you put a little 5%, a little 10% or whatever you get. Put put that somewhere. Save that up. Okay? You know? But you can't be a sluggard, man. All right, you got to put it. We, we here to work, man. We That's what we here for, man. We, we here to work in all facets, man. We're not here to have a good time. The scriptures say what? Arise ye and depart for. This is not your rest. So ain't, ain't no point in getting comfortable, man. All right, when when you move in in, in in that type of manner, you put yourself at you know at a disadvantage. All right, it says what? How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of thy sleep? So that's what I mean, man. You know how long you gonna be sleeping, man? Wake your ass up, you know. You gotta put off the pleasures of this world. We have to be more disciplined in all aspects of you know, uh, you know of our life, man. All right, brothers got families, brothers got kids, and all these type of things. You know, I mean, we we, we we gotta be more disciplined, man. You know, we could all do better. I, I say this, I'm, I'm speaking to myself first. All right, it says, yet, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little fallen of the hands of sleep. All right, so shall thy poverty come as one that travail it, and thy want as an armed man, and that's what it is, man. All right, you sleeping all the time. Poverty going, you know what I mean? Don't be surprised when you fucked up. Don't be surprised when you got no money in your pocket. All right, don't be surprised. Don't be complaining. Don't be, oh, well, you know, Satan. Uh, uh, uh. Nah, man, get your ass up, man. Make make some move. Minimum, get your get your blood pointed, point man. Do some uh, jumper jacks or something. All right, figure out something, man. But just... Having this attitude, well, you know, I'm going to just get get to it when I get to it. Nah, man. All right? You got to low-key, you know, you know, you can't really plan out your day. You know what I mean? The, the Lord is the one that guides your steps. But you might want to write down what you want to accomplish for the day, for the upcoming day, man. All right? Whether you have a job or not, man. All right? You know? It says, so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth. And I want as an armed man. That's what I'm saying. It says uh, in the NLT, it says, Then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber, man. And that's what it is, man. You're you, you, you going to be fucked up out here, man. All right? You know? So this is just like a quick lesson. You know what I mean? Hey, man, you got to put off certain pleasures. You know what I mean? You got to put off certain pleasures. That, uh, uh, you, know, you know, sleep is a pleasure too, man. All right, you know you, you you know we gonna be down sometimes, man. But sometimes it could be avoided. So you gotta put off certain pleasures, and guess what, man? Don't sleep too much. Get in a little routine during your day, man. You see, apostles, the apostles, they they send the example, hey, man, being active. All right, getting your body right, getting your mind right. We we we're supposed to be well-rounded men. All right, well-rounded men in this truth, man. We ain't got no excuses, man. No excuses. All right. So with that. Hey, until next time, shalom.